Hello there. In the previous video, my colleague showed you how to install Zeki Bioassets IVS on your system. In my video, I'll be showing you how to set up department and person under the personal module of Zeki Bioassets IVS. So let's first open up Zeki Bioassets IVS. So now that we're in here, we have different options. We have personnel, we have access, we have attendance, we have video, we have temperature detection, and we have system. So just click on your personnel. Once you click on your personnel, this is what you're going to see. On that personnel, we have person, we have department, we have pending review, we have custom attributes, and we have parameters. So I'm going to show you how to set up a new person and also how to set up departments. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a department since you're going to be registering new employees in a particular department. So I'm going to click on departments. I'm going to click on create new departments. Right here, you can see refresh, new, delete, export, import. So I'm going to create, click on create new. Now, it says if the new department does not appear in the department list, please contact the administrator to reauthorize the department in the user edit. So we have a couple of fields here. We have department number. That's the number you want to assign to that department. A department name, a short number, and your parent department. Parent department works well by their departments under other departments. For example, you can have a technical department in your organization. Under the technical department, there might be a separate department that handles IT. There may be a separate department that handles customer support and various other departments. So technical departments will be the parent department, while IT and tech and customer support and various other sections will be just the department name. So I'm going to assign my department number to be 01. My department name, I'm going to give it CCX. Then parent department, I'm going to make the default department on ZK Bio Access IVS, which is department name, my parent department. So I'm registering CCX under department name. Once I'm done with that, I'll just click OK, save and new. The operation succeeded. So now I can cancel this. Now I'm going to head over to person. Person over here, this is where you create um, new employees. This is where you register new employees. So I'm going to click on new. Once I click on new, we have a couple of fields, but as you can see the asterisk ones are the compulsory fields that have to be filled up. The other ones can be left out depending on your organization's requirements. You also have an access control module to fill up, a time attendance module to also register employees under, and a personal details module. So let's just start from the top. My personal ID, I want my personal ID to be 100 departments i'm registering this department under ccx then okay if you want to register a picture for this new employee you can do that here then name i'm going to give it io then last name um karim gender male mobile number 0503332456651 then certificate type what type of um, identification documents are you using to register this new employee it could be id passport driver license order so i'm just going to use passports then you have to impute the employee's passport number whatever this type of certificate you are using the number the um primary number attached to such certificates you can input that yes i'm just going to use one two three four five here then birthday i'll just click the def the default birthday email um ayo karim um at ccx.com you have if you want to register a password to this new employee you can impute a password here. Uh, I can just use A, B, C, D, E, F. If you want to register an RFID card or an ID card to this employee, you can decide to put a card number. 
which you use to re um, register a card. If you want to register biometrics, probably your fingerprints, which the employee can use to uh, clock in and clock out of work or use to access various uh, offices in your organization, you can also use this option to register biometrics. So under here, I'm first going to click on access control. It says integer only for device verification password, which means I can only use numbers. So I'm going to delete A, B, so I'm going to use uh, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5 for my device verification password, which is better. So now access control, I have a couple of options here. What type of access do you want to give this employee? First, super user. Super user is the type of access you give only to the heads of organizations. You don't just want any employee to be a super user in your organization. So no. Device operation role, once you click on open that, you do want the person to be an administrator, an administrator, an enroller, or just an ordinary user. Administrators could be like head of departments. Enroller could be the head of HR who is responsible for registering new employees. But I want this person to just be an ordinary user. Is the person disabled? Um, no. Set valid time. Then once you're done with that, you can move to the next um, section, which is time attendance. So time attendance, normal attendance, or punch card. So I'm going to click on normal attendance, which is the attendance which your organization is currently operating on. Then device operation rule, employee. Then verification mode, um, fingerprints only, password only, card only, fingerprints or password, fingerprints or card, numbers. So depending on what your organization is used to register new employees, if your organization is registering fingerprints, that's biometrics, you can use fingerprints and cards. If your organization is also registering cards for new employees, so I'm going to choose fingerprints or card. Then you go to your personal details. This is um, basic information about this new employee, such as his job title, his best place, his home phone, office phone, his address, um, symptoms, and various other information, which uh, is not compulsory. You actually set this up, but if your organization has requirements where they need all this information for their employees, you can also have this information set up. Once that is done, just click Save and New, and Operation Succeeded. That's to tell you that employee has not been registered under that department. So click Cancel, as you can see, Karim, Ayo, Department Name, 6 years, Verification Mode, Create Time. And so this is a simple way to set up department and person in Zeki Bio Access IBS. Thank you.